Real Men of Genius. Real Men of Genius. Today we salute you. Mr. Lion about making too many damn fights, managers. That's right. If a lie needs to be told, these are the men to tell it. Tom Laughlin lied about Little G wanting to fight Andre Ward. Little G was terrified to death. Don't forget about Eddie Hearn. How could we? This idiot lost Chris Eubank Jr. because he lied about the money. Wait one second. Did you forget about the salt water? Hell no. I didn't forget about the salt water. Michael Conce was the idiot that co-signed that bullshit. Do you ever think they tell the truth? These guys? Huh. When Marquez stopped drinking his own piss, they'll tell the truth. Mr. Lion about too many damn fights, managers! <laughs> Mr. Lion about too many damn fights, managers. <laughs> YTBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. These three men on the screen, these some lying bastards. I mean, these dudes, these some lying silly bad. They done lied about a whole lot of stuff, okay? I'm going to start on Tom Loeffler, man. We know Tom Loeffler. This dude told all kind of lies about Triple G fighting Andre Ward. I mean, hell, the lies go on and on. And you Triple G supporters, you can come on here, and I call y'all the butthurt Triple G fans. You can get on here all you want to. You can come on here and say, Coach, yeah, but that fight, uh, that fight's long in the past. No, it ain't in the past because I'm going to bring it up every chance I get. Triple G should have gotten a ring with Andre Ward. He should have gotten a ring. Okay? Don't try to tell me that, oh, Andre Ward too big. I am not listening to that. That's stupid. Andre Ward ain't too big. Okay? He, Andre Ward ain't too big. Many fighters, other than Triple G, have gotten a ring with people that are bigger than them. Many fighters. Lots of fighters have done that over the past. Look at the heavyweight division. I mean, hey, you know, Manny Pacquiao did it. Floyd Mayweather did it. So, see, that that's not any, you know, any kind of thing to say, oh, well, Andre Ward is too big. Man, y'all y'all full of crap. Andre Ward is not too big for Triple G. Andre Ward said, forget it. Lil G don't want none of me, so I'm finna move up here, and I'm finna get in here, and I'm finna go and fight Sergey Kovalev. And when that fight, when Andre Ward, that fight get announced, uh, y'all, uh, it's gonna be all-out war against you Triple G fans. It's gonna be all-out war, because I'm dropping video after video after video, and I'm gonna talk about the greatness of Andre Ward. Okay, well, Andre Ward great anyway. He was great when he won the Super 6 tournament. But see, now we're going to talk about his new legacy of greatness. When that fight, when, he, when they announced Andre Ward versus Sergey, Sergey Kovalev official, I'm going to be raining videos on all you Triple G fans. And you just better damn well believe it. Coach Shelton Harrison ain't going to take a break. I'm going to drop a video every minute, every hour, every second. Because I'm going to get y'all. I'm going to get y'all and I ain't going to let you off the hook. I'm never letting you Triple G fans off the hook for, for Andre Ward. And Triple G not fighting. And Triple G, I'm not letting you off the hook. Tom Loeffler, Lion Loeffler, I call you Lion Loeffler because all you do is lie. I'm never letting you off the hook, Tom Loeffler. I'm going to go to your Twitter account. I'm going to post my videos on your Twitter feed. Tom Loeffler, I'm going to do anything I can to get back at you for this, okay? We did not get to see that super fight. Andre Ward versus Triple G would have been a super fight. It would have been a triple fight. I mean, a super fight. And Tom Loeffler, because of you, your lying self, you probably told Triple G, hey, 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 don't entertain a fight with Andre Ward. He's too dangerous right now. That's what you said, Tom Loeffler. Tom Loeffler, you're a liar. Okay, let's look at this next guru. Let's look at this next guru of telling lies, Eddie Hearn. Every time I hear his name, I want to cringe. This idiot, you lost Chris Eubank Jr. <laughs> you lost Chris Eubank Jr. because you got outbidded in a purse bid. I mean, man, come on. Come on, Eddie Hearn. Chris Eubank, that dude got all the potential in the world. How did you match up that up? How? How could you, Eddie Hearn? You're trying to be cheap, man. You're trying to be cheap. Hey, I mean, you should have bid it as high as you can bid, man. At least enough to satisfy Eubank. So he had to stay. Now Eubank gone. I mean you got other stars in your stable. I mean I ain't going to say you don't. But you know how dumb can you be man. I even showed y'all a photograph. Uh, back on December the 18th. When Chris Eubank and Eddie Hearn was at an interview. You can see the look on Chris Eubank, Eubank face. He was out of there. Chris Eubank was saying forget Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn full of sh I'm out of here man. And that's what happened. I mean and every time I hear Eddie Hearn talk. I'm like oh he lying again. Now, Eddie Hearn ain't as bad as Tom Loeffler. Tom Loeffler, I call him Lion Loeffler. Yeah, he ain't as bad as Tom Loeffler. Not, not by any stretch of imagination, okay? But Eddie Hearn, you lied about that money. And when you lie about money, Eddie Hearn, let me tell you something. You know damn well your fighter's going to leave you. 
Now let's look at this. Let's look at this next line bastard right here, Michael Kantz. <laughs> Do I need to say more? Michael Kantz co-signed that saltwater stuff. I mean, Michael Kantz co-signed the saltwater incident. We well, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about when I say saltwater. Manny Pacquiao showed us saltwater. Michael Kantz co-signed it. Matter of fact, man, Michael Kantz lied about the contracts being signed. Michael Kantz lied all those years saying that Floyd Mayweather was running from Manny Pacquiao. Michael Kantz is just a liar. Hell. I mean, what, what do these guys do, man? I mean, really and truly, man. They make all this money, man. They make all this money, then they tell all these lies. I don't even believe when Tom Loeffler, Eddie Hearn, or Michael Kantz, when they say something, I, man, I don't even listen, man, because I know they lie. I know they lie. The fight, unless the fight is officially announced, I don't believe them. And see, everybody want to get on here and talk about Al Heyman. Everybody want to talk about how Al Heyman create these mismatches and all this stuff. But, I mean, man, these guys, they can't compare to Al Heyman. I'm sorry. Hell, these guys can't compare to Bob Arum. Hell, they can't even compare it to Oscar De La Hoya. And I'm not an Oscar De La Hoya fan. I, I truly and honestly, Oscar De La Hoya is a step above these guys. I mean, <laughs> these guys suck, man. They suck. Like, what, what, what the heck, man? What are these guys? Even Kathy Duva is better than these three. These three. These three lying idiots in the sport of boxing. I mean, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. You know, they're promoters slash managers. And these fighters take advice from these guys, man. And I know Michael Kahn and Bob Arum. I know they work together. But, but God, dog. I can listen to a Bob Arum lie because sometimes when Bob Arum tell a lie, there's some kind of validity behind it down the road. You listen to Michael Kantz, hell no. Hell no. It ain't don't ever be no validity to Michael Kantz, man. I don't be listening to that cat, man. You know, the saltwater thing did. He co-signed it. He was the main one co-signing it. Bob Arum, at least Bob Arum was like, oh, man. Manny Pacquiao not being very professional. He ain't going to rehab. At least Bob Arum had some kind of logic to him. Not Michael Kantz. Yeah, Michael Kantz rolled. He, he rolled shotgun Manny Pacquiao. Oh, he rolled that saltwater incident. And all of them like a bunch of damn idiots, okay? Congratulations to the real men of genius in the sport of boxing. That's Tom Lyon Loeffler, Eddie Hearn, and Michael Kantz, the saltwater man. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.